I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're examining a living legend, the Longines Heritage Collection Legend Diver in Stainless Steel. You can see this historic revival, watch and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, more high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details for this Longines legend. Now Longines was way ahead of the vintage dive watch revival game before IWC and JLC reprised their own super compressor case tributes in 2008, Longines beat them to the punch in 2007 by launching the Legend Diver. This watch has been one of the anchors of the Longines Heritage Collection, which more than any other family of products made by the brand has come to define it in the modern era. The Heritage watches, whether Diver, general use or aviation have really come to be the face of Longines and given it an exceptional niche and strong brand identity within the monolith of the Swatch Group. Now you can see the watch resembles the old super compressor cases with their twin crowns, internal, well actually bi-directional rotating bezels, and nicely tapered, substantial, sprawling lugs. Now the watch is very true to history in size, 42 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crowns, the timepiece isn't especially thick, being only 13.5 millimeters with a nicely conical bezel and a very generously sloped sapphire. You can easily slide it underneath the dress cuff. It wears a thin 13.5. Across the wrist, as I mentioned, these are generous lugs and it's broader than you might expect. 53.5 millimeters means the watch has impressive stance. Actually, from lug to lug, it rivals a 44 millimeter Panerai Luminor. Now you can see that the watch is not excessively hefty. It has a satisfying weight to it because of the solid case back screwed on, but it's in no way onerous and it's actually quite light on the wrist, easy to wear. It has the feel of a vintage watch and that's key because it has the look. Put the two together and you have a truly exceptional neo-vintage experience. The look, the feel and the experience of a vintage watch with the water resistant fit, finish and mechanical reliability of a modern timepiece. Now the strap is a synthetic textile with a light contrasting stitch. Now the ecru tone is designed to look like a patinated thread and it works well. It's paired with a traditional Longines winged logo pin buckle for easy on the fly adjustability. It's very supple on the wrist and as, as I mentioned, it wears easy. Now the watch itself is handsome, all of high polish, Longines really sweated the details here, and it is very true to the original. The principal differences are the use of a sapphire, which even as a modern material, has been deliberately domed and built massive to resemble the look of a vintage acrylic or plexiglass. It even has some of the distortion effects when you look at it off axis. Now, again, very true to the original. One of the differences you can't see is the increase in water resistance. This one to 300 meters, the original during the 60s to 200 meters, and both of the crowns are of the screw down variety. Small detail changes on the dial, including a different color to the, I'll show you, bi-directional rotating internal bezel. Now the thing there is that the original featured a silver color. This one for the sake of aesthetic coherence, features all a crew simulated patina. Very effective. You can see even the shape of the hands is true to the original. And of course, this watch featuring a AR coating underneath the sapphire has levels of fit, finish, detail, engineering, and thoughtful luxury touches that you will not find on a vintage watch, even the finest survivor. And of course, the original didn't have a date, but we like convenience, and if this is to be your only watch, that's a fantastic feature to add. Now, the watch is powered by essentially an ETA 2824, doing business as the Longines L633. It has a 38-hour power reserve, 25 joules, bi-directional winding, so there's no unidirectional winding wobble in the unloaded direction. There is no unloaded direction for the winding system. It does feature hacking seconds, such that when you pull the crown to extremity, you stop the balance and you can precisely synchronize to a known accurate reference time. And it does feature a quick set for that modern innovation, the date window. A handsome and wearable watch. If you were to come up with perhaps just one or two references that represent what Longines does so well, it would probably be this watch and the Lindbergh. That's how iconic this timepiece is. It's pretty darn close to being the 
quintessential Longines of the modern era, yet it gives you all of the nostalgic value of the golden era of dive watches back in the 60s. A handsome watch, and again, one that predated much of the industry fascination with vintage revivals. This has to be considered a very unique idea, beautifully executed. You can see and you can purchase this Longines Heritage Collection Legend Diver in stainless steel on our website. Thank <laughs> you.